Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our Google Chrome weekly security update that has rolled out, which was made available late yesterday in my part of the world. So as always, to double check we have this latest point release, we head to our main menu, Help, about Google Chrome. And once the update has been applied, the browser version in bold is sitting on 141.0.7390.65 or 66, either or, if you're running Chrome on Windows, Mac, and Linux means your browser is fully patched and up to date on version 141. Now this week we get three security fixes that are rolling out and the fixes are patching two high severity flaws listed as heat buffer overflow in sync and use after free in storage and there's also one medium that's been patched listed as out of bounds read in web codecs. So two high severity flaws been patched, one medium, three security fixes have rolled out in total. And as always, this also means that the other Chromium based web browsers like Brave Edge and Vivaldi are also more or less going to be getting the same security fixes rolling out throughout the course and the rest of this week. And just on a quick side note, like I have been letting you know over the last couple of updates for Chrome, if you had applied the workaround to re-enable MV2 extensions like uBlock Origin in the browser after their deprecation and uBlock's deprecation from moving from MV2 to MV3 extensions by Chrome, that the workaround still works that I have provided on the channel. uBlock still works. And I'm just doing these quick updates regarding um, this because obviously I do get asked this quite a bit in the comments, so just to help you guys out. And in regards to MV2 and uBlock, I did post a video a couple of days ago that there is a new command line fix you can also use if other methods are not working to re-enable uBlock and MV2 extensions. And I'll leave that linked down below and in the end screen. If you'd like to go check that out, if you are running into issues trying to re-enable uBlock Origin in the Chrome web browser. And as always, after I installed this latest point release, I have had a quick look around the browser and I'm not noticing any tweaks or adjustments that the update has included. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.